All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this series of online lessons. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and leave a like for this lesson. Now, in today's lesson, we are going to look at geometric construction, as you can see on the screen here. Now, a few things that you need uh, for you to execute this uh, task successfully are a ruler, a mathematical ruler, uh, a protractor and a compass. So um, a ruler helps us draw straight lines. A compass uh, is that semicircle in your mathematical sets and it has in your mathematical set and it has uh, some markings there from zero. So those are the angles. So it helps us precisely uh, measure the angle and uh, the protractor. I mean the the compass is uh, that uh, instrument that has one side a needle and the other side is where you can insert um, a pencil all right so those are the things that you need of course you need a pencil all right so a ruler helps us draw straight lines a compass helps us make uh, perfect curves and uh, a protractor helps us to find the angles all right so now uh, geometric construction is one of the simplest topics because we just follow instructions that are given to us. So for instance, here we have this question using geometric instruments. So geometric instruments, these are instruments in your mathematical set, construct a triangle. So we are constructing a triangle. So whatever we are constructing, we should have that in our mind. Okay. We are constructing a triangle in which AB, so the first term that is given there is the base of the triangle in which AB is 9 centimeters. So the base of the triangle is 9 centimeters. BC is 7 centimeters. SC is 6 centimeters. So how we solve construction questions is that we go step by step. So this is the first step. After we deal with this step, we'll go to the second step. We'll go to the third step and we'll go to the last step, which is the final step, right? down there. So for the first step, we are following these instructions that are here. All right, so we can start. So for the first part here, we're constructing AB. So AB has a length nine centimeters. So we get our ruler, we put it down here. So we make sure that we put our ruler way down on the plain paper there so that uh, you have enough room on top there. So you should just have about this length away from the down part of the plain paper. So you just leave a bit of a room down the plain paper, but you put your ruler way down so that you have enough room on top of your plain paper there. And you make sure that your plain paper is in landscape mode. I mean, in, port, in landscape, yeah, you should make sure that the, the paper is in landscape mode so that uh, you have um, big room or enough room on, on, on the left and the right side there. So make sure that your ruler is placed down the, the plain paper so that you have enough room on top. Again, it should be placed in the center of um, the either sides so that you have enough room both sides of the paper. So now the first length is AB, which is nine centimeters. So we are going to measure nine centimeters. So we'll start from zero here on our ruler and draw a line up to nine centimeters, which is uh, somewhere there. Okay, which is uh, somewhere there. You have to be very careful. So that is uh, nine centimeters and you're going to remove your ruler. Okay, after removing your ruler, you're going to rip, uh, to label the points. So that this starting point is your A, then this starting point is your B. You also label the, the length, which is nine centimeters. So this is nine centimeters. Okay, so we've done the first task. A, B is nine centimeters. Okay, A is the starting point, B is the end point. Then now we come to this point, B, C, which is seven centimeters. So B here, the first letter represents the starting point and the second letter represents the ending point. So B, C, B is this point. So this line here will start from this point and end at some point C. So since we don't know where C is, <clears throat> we're going to get our compass and measure the length of B, C. 
okay so bc we're going to measure the length of bc so putting our needle on zero and we're going to uh, expand the compass to seven centimeters because that's how long bc is so let me just uh, do that. So let's, uh, expand to seven centimeters exactly so <clears throat> yeah so you've measured bc which is seven centimeters and you're going to put the needle on b so the needle part of the compass will be put on b okay so you make sure it's on b like that so the needle will be on B, so you, you prick it on B there. Then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a curve. All right. So you're going to draw a curve. Just draw it as big as possible, like that. Okay, you draw a curve. Then, yeah, so this, I think, okay. Yeah, so that is, uh, we draw a curve like that. So we know that uh, BC will be in somewhere that line, okay? Then now we are done with BC, we come to AC. So again, same principle, A is denoting where we're starting from, and the second letter is denoting where we're ending. So A to C, so again, we'll get our, our compass. We measure six centimeters, since AC is six centimeters, so let's get our ruler and our compass. We'll just put it like that. Okay, so we measure six centimeters. So we put on zero there. Then we measure six centimeters, which is about right there. Okay, so that is six centimeters. And uh, what you do is you put away your ruler, then now you will make a curve for, for AC. So again, you put your ruler on A, I mean, you put your needle on A, so you prick it on A, then you you rotate it. All right, so you, you prick it on A, since we are starting at A and ending at C, then we're going to do the same thing. We make a curve and make sure that the two curves are touching like that, okay? make sure that the two curves are touching so as long as they are touching then we are okay okay so yeah you can even extend it but as long as they are touching we are okay like that okay just a minute. all right let me let me just do the curve again so draw the curve and make sure that uh, it is touching like that and we are done all right so now what we'll do after this is we need to connect the, the points to this middle part here so there is uh, the middle part where the three points are meeting so we need to connect that and we're going to use uh, a ruler for that so we bring our ruler then uh, we put it down here so make sure that your pencil is guiding you so if pencil is guiding you you put your pencil there then you rotate your ruler like that. Then uh, you also put a pen there so that you make sure that uh, the ruler is cutting, going uh, in the middle there. So after you do that, you will see that here the pen is cutting the middle and there, then you, you will draw a line. So we're going to draw a line. So this line that we're going to draw here, we start from the middle here, going all the way down to A there, which is there. Okay, then um, come to this other side. So we'll do the same. So we bring our ruler here, we rotate it. it like that so here we make sure that our pen will stick there okay even here we make sure that our pen will stick there so our pen can stick there so we rotate it all the way down there here okay rotate it all the way down there and we get our our pen, then we draw a line from that point 
all the way down to there. Okay, so all the way down to there. And we have constructed a triangle. So, so this point here, that is where C will be. So this is C, so we just need to put C there. Then this green line here is BC, so BC, which is seven centimeters. Then uh, we have uh, AC, which is this line here, the blue one. AC, which is six centimeters. So we put six uh, centimeters right there. And we are done with the first question. So we are told to construct a triangle in which AB is nine centimeters. So AB is nine centimeters. BC is, uh, BC is what, seven centimeters. So BC is seven centimeters. AC is six centimeters, which is that. And we put our labels there. So that is, uh, that is, we're done with the first question. Then now we are taught, so this done, this, this first one, we can tick that. So we can tick uh, that one. So now we go to the second one. The second one says measure and write the size of angle A, B, C. Okay. Now we are taught to measure the size of the angle. Okay. Angles are these corners. So this curve, this corner here, that corner there, that corner there, these are angles. And we follow the path. So A is the starting point, A here. Then B is this one. Then C is that one. So the angle we are looking for is the, the letter in between. So the angle we are being asked in this question, A, which is this one, B, which is the turning point, so the turning point that becomes our angle, then C, which is there, so this is the turning point, okay? So we are asked to find this angle, okay? So what you do to find the angle is you are going to get your protractor, your protractor, put it, okay, you're going to get your protractor like that, and make sure that um, the the angles, the, the zero is inside, okay? So make sure that uh, the zero part of the protractor is inside, okay? So I, I put my protractor there, and uh, let me see if I can flip it. Am I, oh, this one only increases size, okay? All right, let me increase size so that you're able to see properly there. So here for our protractor, we're going to start from zero. So obviously this is 170, 160. So we're not going to use this scale, but we're going to use the inner scale here, which is starting from zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on and so forth up to 180. So we make sure that the zero is inside the triangle. So the zero is here. So this is this, then we reach up to this point. So that point there, we need to know that point there. So that point there, is about, let me just, uh, is uh, 40, 41 degrees. Is it 41 or 42? So let me, let me just uh, erase this and see properly. So at that point, sorry, sorry. Okay, let me see if I can erase. Okay, so that point there, you need to be very careful. You see properly, so that is a, uh, 42 degrees so this is 42 degrees okay so from here you measure 42 degrees like that so you check you start from zero where the zero is so the zero should be there you measure all the way until you get to to this line here okay so meaning that this angle that we have here is 42 degrees so we'll put here 42 degrees Okay, 42 degrees, put like a small degrees there. Okay, so uh, ABC is equal to 42 degrees. Okay, suppose we were told to find the angle. Let me just see if I can move it here. All right, let me move it here. Suppose you were told to find the angle B, let's say B, 
B, C, A. How would you move? So you would start from B, okay, to C, then to A. So the turning point is this one. So this would be the angle they, they are looking for. So again, you do the same thing. So make sure that the, the protractor is placed there. Okay, you, you, you place the, the protractor there and make sure that the zero is inside the triangle. Okay, so you, you, you place your protractor there. Then I'll rotate it, making sure that the zero is inside. All right, so the zero is inside. We follow this. We follow the outer scale, so not the inner scale, because the inner scale, if we check these numbers, are decreasing this way. So, but uh, the one where the zero is inside is the outer scale. So we follow the outer scale until we reach this point here. And uh, we, we check that number at that point. So this is 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87 degrees. So BCA would be equal to 87 degrees. And you are done. So that is how you do that. So make sure that the zero is inside the, the, the triangle you're trying to measure the angle of. Okay. So we would do the same for, um, let's say, if we were asked now to find the angle B, C, B, A, C. Sorry. So B, B, A, C. So B, A, C again. B is our starting point, so we start from B. A is our turning point, so that is our A. That is the angle, and C is the end point. So the angle that we're looking for is the angle right here. Okay, so that's the angle right there. So that's the angle we're looking for. So even if we, if we try to measure this angle here, we'd see that it would give us... Uh, 87 degrees somewhere there okay so now for BAC B is the starting point C is the turning point and I mean B is the starting point A is the turning point and C is the end point so the turning point that is where the angle is so the angle is here so the angle is here so again we'll do the same we'll, we'll get our protractor let me just grab my protractor and drag it right here and make sure that um, the zero is inside. So put it right here. Okay. So we make sure that the zero is inside the triangle. So this is this is a tool that I can use for, for my my angles. So we make sure that the zero is inside. So these numbers are decreasing. So we can't use the inner scale, but we'll use the outer scale. Okay, let me just make it a bit like that. Yeah, so we we'll use uh, the outer scale because that's where the angles are increasing, so meaning that the zero is down there. So for the when you follow from zero all the way to this point here, okay, we see that uh, the angle is about uh, forty. Let me just see. This should be about forty. See, that's 50 okay so the angle is about 50 degrees so b b a c would be equal to 50 degrees okay and uh, that's how you would work out angles like that okay so uh yeah so now here we go to the next part of the question so we're done with part two we go to part three in part three, we are asked to construct the bisector of angle C, A, B, and A, C, A, B, C. All right, so now we, the bisector, bisector meaning that it should uh, cut it in half. Bi means two equal parts. So construct two equal parts that cut the angle uh, C, a, B. So we need to locate where C, A, B is. And for bisectors, we normally use the compass. So C, A, B, C, A, B. So C is the starting point, A, B. So 
a will be where we are going to put the pointy part of our our compass so we put uh, a pointy part of our compass there okay we put it there then we are just going to extend the compass or we're going to reduce the compass about half of the length okay so what we'll do is uh, we will make cuts on the on the on the other part so c c a b we put uh the the needle part of the compass on the letter in between which is at a then what we're going to do is we're going to make cuts on the the other sides of the the compass of the the lines okay so these are the cuts so we make a cut here so just on a line like that then we make another cut uh this other side so we can put it like that and we make a cut on top like that then what we're going to do is we're going to get our compass again so we put it now on this point then we are going to make locus of points so we're just going to extend like that and we're going to make cuts again on top here so we're just going to make cuts that will overlap so we put a cut like that then you also come on this side like that then you make a cut on top there like that and these two lines should meet so now where the two lines meet you're going to get your ruler so one side should be on point a and the other side will, will be on this point where the the two lines are meeting so let me get that so we put the ruler on one side here on point a and the other side there like that like that so we're going to put it like that then basically we're just going to join the two points so the two points like that and we are done so we join the two points like that so this is a bisector of the angle uh, CAB and we do the same for the angle uh, ABC so we do the same for the angle ABC so we are going to pull out our ruler so pull out our ruler angle CABC a which is this point b which is that point and c which is that point so again we put the the the, the needle part of our our compass on b which is the middle point so we put it on b yeah so we put it on b then uh we do the same thing so we're going to make cuts on both sides so we make cuts uh top here Let's see right, so we make a cut on all right like that so we make a cut on this side we also do the same on the other side here we make cuts then we move our protractor on on the same uh on this lens so we come here again so we put um our compass there then we do the same thing so we we'll make some curves on top here so just do a curve like that and uh, we come to this other part on the on the on the triangle there again on the triangle there then we'll do some curves this side as well so we we'll do the curve there okay so we we'll do the curve there then where they are they are meeting there will connect to the point B. So make sure that you put your compass on the on the triangle line and here even here on the triangle line, then you make the the drawings. Then from here you get your ruler. So where they are meeting, so you put it there, then also at B. Like that.
And basically, you're going to join the two lines. So, joining the two lines, you get your, your pen. I'm going to join with blue. All right, so that's so join the two lines. Join the two points like that. So, you found your bisector for angle CAB, which is uh, this other line. And your bisector for A, B, C, which is the line we're from drawing. Okay? So that is how you find your bisector for angles. So your bisector for angles, you, you find the angle, you get the midpoint like that. Then you make some cuts on C and B like that. Then you connect the, you, you, Again, put the compass on the lines, then you, you, you cut on top there, then you draw the, the lines. So make sure that uh, the compass is placed on the line where the, the, the cuts are meeting with the, the, the lines. So like here, that's when you put it like that. So same applies for A, B, C. So A, B, C, so B will be our turning point. So on B here, we put our compass, then we make cuts on the triangle, this side and this side. Then we put our compass there, the, the needle part there, in the middle there. Then we make cuts on top like that. Then uh, you connect the two points. So here where the two lines are meeting and here where the, the line is meeting. Then you, you connect that. Then now you come and solve question five. Okay. So using, using the point of intersection of these bisectors, so the point of intersection of these bisectors is right here, okay? So this is the point of intersection of these bisectors as uh, the center. So this is where it will be the center. Draw a circle which will touch all three sides of the triangle. So you just come and put your your compass here on the on the on the side here so now this has to be your center now how are you going to of oh, the pointy part is this side how are you going to draw a a a, 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 a circle that touches the three sides so you just measure one side like that, then, yeah, so you just touch one side there, then you draw the circle, let me just do that. Okay, so you have one side there, you, so the circle will usually make itself, so you have, you touch one side while putting your, your compass in the middle there, then you draw the circle like that, so the circle will touch all the three sides, and you're done. So you put the, the the compass in the middle points there, then you just draw a circle from one side. So you follow this side or this side. Then you start from there, then you draw all the three points. And you're done with your construction question. So I'm going to give you a question for you to try out. So, But first of all, try to work through this problem. So try to work through this problem and compare your results. This is the results that are here then you can uh, capture that and send it. Then you try out this question as well that I'm putting here. You capture a solution, then send it. So I'm putting up a question right now. All right, so this is uh, the question you're going to attempt. You can pause and copy. So use your geometric instruments to construct a triangle in which AB is four, BC is five, and AC is six centimeters. Measure and write the size of angle ABC, then bisect sides a b and uh, b c so for for this one though we have not done it to me that also bisecting sides a b and b c you do the same thing that we uh we were doing so for instance uh, i'll bring up the same question that we had all right so now let's look at the same question that we had so now suppose they say instead of bisecting the angles they say bisect side A, C, let, let, let's use the same ones, A, B, and B, C, A, B, and B, C, 
and B, C. So suppose you're asked to bisect the sides instead of the angles. So suppose you're asked to bisect the sides A, B. So you will go on A, B, which is this line. You make, um, you get your, your compass. You start from A, so that is uh, where you put your needle. You put your needle on A. Okay, let me just extend it a bit. So you get your compass, you put it on A. Then what you do is um, you extend your compass to a length of more than half, okay? You extend your compass to more than half. Then what you do is uh, you're going to make arcs. So this will be like this. You start from way up like that. Then you draw an arc all the way down. So let me just put it up because it has to go all the way down. So you're bisecting sides. So you draw A, B, and B, C. So you put your, your compass on A and you measure a length of more than half of A, B. Then you... You make an arc, so this would be the arc. You make an arc like that. So you make it as big as possible. Then after doing that, you get the same, the same, uh, or you should also get the more than half of uh, of B from, from A, which is just about the same length. So you just get about the same length, then you cut like that again, so the two lines should meet. So you cut like that. Okay, so you cut like that. And basically, you get your ruler now. So you get your ruler and uh, you turn it like that. And you're going to join the two points where the, the, the curves are meeting. Okay, so that's your ruler. You put it right there. Yeah, so you get your ruler, you put it right there. Then you're just going to draw a line. So basically it should be within the triangle. So make sure that it goes through the two points. So I'll start from here. So that. So I'll start from here. Draw the line like that. So that will be the bisector of the side AB. So you get your side AB, which is this side, then uh, you measure a length of more than half of the, the, the length from A, then you make an arc like that, then that same length you go on B, you make another arc, then where they meet, that's where you bisect, then you do the same for BC, so BC is this line, so from B to C, so from B to C, um, you do the same. So let me just do this. So from B to C, you get your, your compass, you put it on B. Right, so you get your, your, your needle, you put it on B. Then you measure a length of more than half, just like before. So you measure a length more than half which is about there, then again, you, you're going to make arcs, okay? So you just extend your, your ruler like that, then you make arcs, you make an arc like that, make it as wide as possible, then the same length, you get it, you put it on C, since we are dealing with the line BC, you make another arc, so make sure that the arcs are meeting on two points so you make another arc like that yeah so then from there you bisect you 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 get your ruler you 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 put it on one end there and on the other end there yeah so you put one end there then you are going to bisect the the two points so you draw from there from the points where they are touching until you reach that point where they are touching like that. And that will be your bisector for A, B, and B, C. And when you're done, just remove that. 
So I just remove the ruler like that. So as dirty as it seems, but you just remove it like that. So this is the bisector for for AB, and this is the bisector for uh, BC, like that. So something like that. So yeah. Then according to the question that you were given as your exercise, you use the point where they are meeting. So for us, it's this point and this point where they are meeting. But I'm sure for that one, it, they'll be more closer. So you use that as your your midpoint. Then you 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 touch one side of the 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 face of the triangle, and you just make a circle like that. So I'll be waiting for a submission. So in fact, example two, let me just use, in fact, let me use this. So that one will be question one. Then question two is this one. Let me just change uh, a few numbers there. All right, so I am giving you two questions. So this is the second question. So the first question, you can start with this one since it's similar to the example that we've solved. So use geometric constructions to construct um to construct a uh, triangle abc in which ab is uh, eight centimeters bc is five centimeters and ac is three centimeters then measure this so you use this then uh you can work out this other problem here yeah then you come and work out this problem so you have two questions that i'll be working waiting to mark so this is the second question and that was uh the first question so uh, do that. Uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a great evening.